Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Okay, here we go. As you can see, Classics Bumblebee 2006. We're going to transform him from his alternate mode into his robot mode. And this guy's quite simple, to be honest. We'll start by just unclipping the doors. By doing that, this will then free up the arms underneath. So we can now just fold these out of the way for a start. We can then unclip the feet at the bottom, start to bring these down as in fold and pull. You'll see there straight away that the hinges all around the wheels allow it to do that. This then of course makes the feet and the bottom part of the leg. You can then fold the seats over and down. Oops, they turn into the kneecaps. The good thing about this video is again, if you see me do things like this, you can be rest assured that it doesn't break them and you can just simply reattach that there. Okay, tilt this all the way up, bring the chest piece down, fold the head right down, turn it around to face forwards for obvious reasons. And then what we've got here, this is quite cool to keep the doors in check. If you have a look just there, you can see there's a little hole. So if we spin the door around 180 degrees, we can then attach that into position. Same again, there's the hole. Let's bring the door up and turn it around and just pop it into there as well. And what that does is, of course, it will keep the doors out of the way. There we go. Oh, let's just move the kneecap back behind there. That's perfect. And it's up to you then how you want to pose him. But as I say, not a very difficult transformation. I'm just trying to get him to stand typically. There we go into position there you have it classics bumblebee from robot nope from car into robot okay then here we go transformation from robot back to alternate mode let's take the wave crusher off the back first that was clipped into the back of the hood so what we're going to do we're going to literally there's the jet ski at the top so let's turn this around so this is flat push these back and up at the same time and then you can see that these will just fit around and clip together that's that bit done next bit what i tend to do is just turn the head slightly to its side and then what this allows you to do is to push it back in between that gap there and you can see that it clips right in this then allows you to tuck this right up and that fits snugly if it's not fitting snugly it's probably because the head isn't turned enough okay let's detach just the door part from the forearm just so we can spin it around ourselves now we're going to move the arms totally out of the way i'm going to tilt the back of the car up like so i'm now going to fold the front of the feet down fold the seats back up there as well connect the legs together via the two you know, the dowels and the tabs and then just bring this upright before we do any more attaching let's fold the tow bar down at the back and what we're going to do we're going to fold sorry we're going to bring the arm back that way so the wheel lines up in place bring the arm down and then in a second you can see that was the hole there where we tabbed it in in robot mode if we've now got the tab there and the tab there and the clip from where it's going to be in alternate mode so bring this up clip it there clip it into place like so very simple same on this side so let's turn the wheel right the way around move this out of the way straighten out the fist and again you're going to spin the door around to line up with the tabs it's brilliant this is you know it's, it's quite straightforward and you've got lots of markers to know you can see there where we're clipping everything in and just push everything back like so make sure as i say the tow bar is folded downwards and then of course you could reattach that okay guys there you go thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe